Howdy Herfers, it's Terry again, and still in Peru, and I got a, just another treat for you guys. Just when we think it can't get any better, you know, something like this happens. And last night, uh, we went out herping, and we were walking some trails. We found a nice man toadies, we found a ceratophrys. Uh, we actually saw a, a big cat, um, either a margay or an ocelot. We saw an armadillo, so it was a really good day in general, as well as a few rodents with some possums and some, some rats and some ice. And uh, and then we found this guy. This is a uh, Amazon tree boa. You see Corallus hortulanus. We found one before, and I showed you in the dark when we were, we were making that video at Explorers Inn. This one is uh, a little bit bigger, and as you see, it's completely patternless, minus just a few flecks of uh, gray and and white on the belly, and it is a screamer. We were down by the by the quebrada and I noticed it, we were shining with our flashlights. It was about quarter to nine at night. We were shining with our flashlights and, <laughs> and he was about this high off the ground, hanging vertically on a, on a young tree, a young sapling, and he was pointed down at the ground. And this is, this is a really popular observation with, with this species and what they're doing is they're waiting for anything to pass underneath them, like a rodent particularly. <laughs> particularly a rodent and as soon as something does bam they get it constrict it and then eat it okay this one is an adult male he's uh 1.3 meters long i believe we just measured him 134 centimeters and uh and so this is this is not real real big but this is definitely an adult and uh when they're younger they'll consume kind of a wider variety of prey they'll take lizards um, as well as uh, you know, small rodents. When they're older, they take bats, they'll take reptiles, they'll take uh, rodents, they'll take birds. But I would say that their their main food is uh, is endothermic, is warm-blooded mammals. And like the emerald tree boa that is also here, Corallus caninus, you can see that this snake has really distinct labial pits. And what those do is those pick up heat, uh, body heat in animals. And so that's what leads me to believe, in, in, anyway, that, uh, that rodents make up a, a real big part of their diet. And this one in particular is just, it's really unique. I mean, you know, shout out to the guys at Amazon Alliance and people at uh, Field Hurt Forum on Hurt Nation. I've seen, you know, guys have uh, captive animals that look like this, that are just almost just completely patternless, all one color, really, really gorgeous animals. But to find one in the wild like this, is just, it's just really, really stunning. I'm really impressed. And the previous one we found was more gray and uh, had brown and definitely had a distinct pattern. But this one, as you can see, is completely patternless. And I'm just really, really, really pumped to, uh, to see it. And, and here, this is probably the last snake that we see. So um, just, just really, really excited. Like I said, it's uh, an adult male, and I'll show you. He's got some, the spurs on this particular animal. Come over here. And he's, see what we'll do. <laughs> this one's not quite as placid as the previous one that we found. And we've been taking several photos of him, as you can see. But it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Come here. Yep, yep, yep. I know. I'll get him unwrapped here. Maybe. <laughs> and I'll show you, give you a show up close. Yeah. You can see he's got some length to him. Real thick in the body, laterally compressed. It's an arboreal snake. Very adept in the trees. And you can see now those, you see him flicking his tongue, you can see those labial pits that I was talking about. That vertical pupil. Uh, it's a nocturnal snake. And then just look 
at this color. Another thing I wanted to show you, mosquitoes. If you come to the rainforest, bring mosquito repellent. Right? I don't know. They'll show up. But uh, there are... Is that how you deal with your problems there? We can't talk it out? Look at those teeth. <laughs> I've been... <laughs> I've been bitten by a few snakes in the last couple of weeks. And uh, I can assure you, this snake has teeth that are so much longer than all the other ones. Hence the gloves. But anyway. <laughs> uh, he just wants to go catch his rights. Catch his possums. Okay. You can see how he's holding on. And that's about a good representation of what they do. The tail is fully prehensile. It's a really, really cool snake, really pretty snake. And so variable in color. They come in blacks, they come in reds, they come in oranges, they come in yellows, they come in grays. And uh, so, just fantastic. I'm psyched. We've seen, uh, I think we're up to 20 species in, in the last five weeks of snakes, 81 species of herps in total so far. We need to go over the list again. But uh, this is the second Corallus hortulanus that we've seen and I'm super pleased. So, hope you like it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.